Well, hello YouTube. Good afternoon, everyone. I just picked up Sadie Loren from school because she has an appointment. A doctor's appointment. She's got this little thing on her neck that is growing, so we're a little concerned. I just want to get it checked out and make sure it's okay with her pediatrician. So we are headed early and hopefully we can make it back to pick up Bella or Poppy can. Did you have a good day so far? Yeah. I got to see you doing science. That was fun. What did you guys do in there? We were doing our soil unit and we had to like, so we had to like put all the soil to one side and then we had to have the cup and put it on the Velcro and then we had to put the water in it and then it would all go in the bucket. Looks pretty cool. By the way, I'm in my rental car for the week. They are fixing, sorry I'm trying to buckle. They're fixing my car so gonna get it all situated. Ah, I cannot buckle. There we go. Uh, they're gonna fix my car from when, after Christmas when they hit it. The person like slid on the ice. I talked about it a while ago. But we're gonna get all fixed up. pain or because no. it made your eyes water? It made my eyes water. Why? Because it hurt. <laughs> you, why are you laughing? No. I love you. Fuck you. So we tested her for flu and strep like you saw. That was not fun was it babe? What happened? That was horrible. We got the results of that. Negative on both. Negative for strep, negative for flu. So the next step is we're going to get some blood work done. She's not happy about that either, but look at that beautiful smile. Dang, girl, dang. And then we are going to set up an appointment to get a soft tissue ultrasound. So, we shall see. She does have a viral something, but she's like most kids have that right now because germs are everywhere. So, what do we have to do? What are our steps when we get home? A uh, vitamin C. And? Agua. Lots and lots and lots of water, okay? Or Gatorade, whatever. We just gotta get you loaded with fluids. High five. Pew. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're at Froyo right now. Why? Because I got bending. Two sticks of blood out of Sade. They and shove I something. To have one. They shove something up her nose, down her throat. She is not feeling it today, so we're just giving her a little treat. Okay, love you. We are watching. The amazing race. Say it louder. The amazing race. The amazing race. The girls always ask me to watch the amazing race. Well, Sadie's not. She's up on the. What are you I doing? I watch it most times though too. What are you playing? I'm playing Splatoon. Splatoon? Mm -hmm. How you feeling? I'm good. Good? Mm -hmm. So me and the girls are watching Amazing Race. Um, we're gonna have some chicken that Sarah's been, um, had in the slow cooker for most of the day, about to get some veggies and eat together before she has to go to work. Oh, they're in France? What? They're in France! You better watch it. Sadie is pretty obsessed with uh, with France, huh? Do you love France? Why, boo? Because. You don't even. Why do you like it? Because the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower? Uh huh. Have you been to France? Sarah's like, or Sadie's like, dream is to do. Uh, Paris, like she wants to go so so bad. So one day I'm gonna take her there. Really? Absolutely. One day, boo. One day. So what? What? Sleeping with the pops. Sleeping with the pops. Ready, Bellamia? Mm -hmm. Let's go. 
Y'all gotta get to bed because Sadie's gotta go up early. You love Zendaya, huh? <laughs> oh, I love you, Billy. Love you. Love you. Love you. The girls are sleeping with pops tonight oh. because mommy will be back at like eight o'clock. Yeah. Sorry, mom. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, eight o'clock a.m. Not p.m. If no. you're concerned. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, get uh, get the book we gotta read and then let's, the let's, let's head over to get the book and let's bamonuski. Where? And I'll bring all my stuff that I need. Oh, it's right here. The book's right here. Okay, let's go. And then y'all gotta clean this tomorrow. What's the deal? Yeah, bro. It's just clean clothes that we gotta clean. I'll put that there. I know, because you guys gotta, it's clean clothes. Yeah. Y'all, I'm just gonna end the vlog like this uh, tonight over here. No good night song, um, but I was praying and doing the daily devotionals with the girls. And uh, just seeing how Sadie was today from the doctor. I don't know how much share, uh, Sarah has shared with you about what was happening, what they did, drew blood. Um, they scheduled an ultrasound for Sadie's lump in her neck. And so I was asking her how she's feeling. You know, how are you doing? I wanna check with my daughter, man. Like, how are you feeling? She's getting a little teary-eyed eyed and, you know, the, the devotional today was all about, you know, sometimes there's mountains in front of us but God, um, you know, doesn't want us to worry about those, man. He, he doesn't want us to, to worry about those things. Sometimes you have to go through the mountains. Sometimes you have to do it. So this devotional talked about sometimes you go, you have to go through these mountains or sometimes God kind of changes your direction. And sometimes if you do go through a mountain, a mountain being, you know, maybe your finances, a, a relationship, a job loss, a, an illness, a sickness, a disease or whatever, sometimes you have those mountains and sometimes... You know, um, you have to go through things like my Sarah's uh, Welita, you know, Welita went through a very traumatizing situation for her family, but you know, she went through that mountain and God saw her through it. And so for Sadie, I was just telling her like, you know, sometimes if we have to go through mountains, God will give us everything we need, the strength, the endurance, um, the heart, the fight to push through. And so, uh, so just wanted to think through and help her navigate those thoughts in her brain. And so I teared up with her and let her know, man, that just, man, and I prayed with him again, specifically for this situation. And uh, so I'm not sure how much Sarah told you, but Sadie was just saying that she was a little nervous and scared about this ultrasound and going through it, which is in a couple weeks. And, and that's kind of scary, you know, like it freaking, you know, when she says that, like scares me and worries me. And so just love this girl like crazy. And I'm not going to talk about how much I love her because I will get super emotional but uh anyways you know keep her in your prayers keep yeah keep her in your prayers that everything comes back negative that she's all good and uh and yeah I just believe um uh, believe everything's fine so I told her man she's she's fine and uh anyways so not in this vlog but love you guys appreciate y'all